Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Uh, are we hearing me very well? Because it appears as if the network is not uh, it's not flowing very well. Yes, I'm hearing okay. I'm hearing good loud and clear for me. All right. God bless you, man. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. All right. Tonight, by the special grace of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Tonight, by the special grace of God, we are looking at the topic just as we are having it in our retreats. Uh, sorry, in our global crusade as, as well. The God of all possibilities. The God of all possibilities. Meaning that our God is a specialist. Our critical possibility. Meaning that our God cannot fail. Meaning that with God, all things are possible. I'm reading from the book of Luke, chapter 1. As we can see on the platform. The book of Luke, chapter 1. And I'm going to read verse... 37. Please turn your Bible with me to, to the book of Luke, chapter 1, in verse 37. There is this word, the statement of assurance that was given. given to unto Mary at this point in time. And what was this message? The Bible tells us it said, For with God. For with God, that's what we are holding on to tonight. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. I'm also going to read from the book of Acts chapter 12. Please just join me as we look at Acts chapter 12, please. The book of Acts chapter 12. I read from verse 1. Sorry, are we hearing me at all? My voice. Praise the Lord. Ah. Are, are we hearing you? Hearing, but you see, it's just going, it's, it's going, coming, going, coming. Okay. But I'm hearing you, sir. Okay, man. All right. Praise the Lord. But I'm hearing you. Hallelujah. Oh. So, like I said, I was trying to read book from the book of Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12 from verse 1. It said, now about that time, Herod the king, Herod the king, stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Let me read. Let me interpret that in again. I try to look at that, at what that verse one, in the light of a, a amplified version. Look at the way they put it in amplified version. He said, in amplified version, it made us understand something here. And that is exactly what I want to read to us here now. Because there's a way the ampli uh, amplified uh, version put it. It made us to understand that Herod was out to afflict. He wanted to afflict. He said, he said, about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to afflict, to afflict and oppress and torment some who belong to the church, that is to the assembly of God's people. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, the Herod yes, is in killing James, the brother of John, with a sword. And when they saw that the king pleased the Jew, he went ahead again, you not know, to lay hand upon Peter, with the mind that after the Passover, he will bring him forth, and then he will kill him also. That was the purpose. But do you know, people of God have to rise up in prayer. The church of God, they rose up in prayer. And we're told that Peter was kept in prison. He was kept in prison. 
But the thing that prayer, constant prayer, was made persistently unto God for him. Why? Because they knew that God must intervene. God must step in into this matter. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So tonight, by the special grace of God, like I said, we are praying. And we want to seek the Hallelujah. face of God. Like I rightly said that, please, are we hearing my voice at all? Hello? Are we hearing me? Are we hearing my voice? Yes, we are hearing you. Okay. So, the truth of the matter is that we yes, want to... Yes. No. We want to call upon the name of the Lord because our God is the God of all possibilities. He is the God that has the power to stop all the activities of error. Error in our life could mean many things. Error in the family could mean many things. Error in our workplace could mean many things. Error in the village that has been tormenting and afflicting could mean many things. And that is what we want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to seek the face of God. We want to call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Because we know that our God never fails. Our God answers prayers. Our God is the Almighty. So we are going to pray tonight. But then we are going to appreciate God. We are going to worship the Lord tonight. We want to give him all the praise tonight. Can you please open your mouth and appreciate God? Open your mouth and give the praising tonight. Let's worship God. Let's reference Him because He's the Almighty. Open your mouth and give all the glory unto God. Let's thank God. Let's praise the name of the Lord tonight. Let's thank Him because He has kept us alive. He preserved our life to this very point in time. He wanted to bless our soul, our life. Let's honor Him. Let's begin to magnify God and say, Father, thank you for the excellence of your power. Thank you for the way you have been upholding us by the word of your power on a daily basis. Please open your mouth and give him all the praise tonight. Thank the Lord and praise him and worship the Lord. Magnify God and praise him. In the mighty name of Jesus, righteous God, immortal God, everlasting Father, God, we praise you. Lord, we give you all the praises tonight. Oh God. And we say, Father, thank you once again, oh God. Because in that thing that happens, oh God, Lord, we rejoice in you. We rejoice in your faithfulness, in your goodness, in your mercies, oh God. The God of all power. The God that, has this, that specializes in turning impossibilities to possibilities. The God that can do all things. He said, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. In fact, you tell us, you have told us in the word of God. He said, for with me, he said, with me. This is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we say thank you tonight, oh God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, to be, to be, to be, to be, to be, to be, Eto bio oluwa 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 wa oluwa eto bio eto bio eto bio oluwa eto bio eto bio eto bi o senita le fisha ta we re o eto bi O senita le fisha ka we re o eto bi oluwa you are worthy lord you are worthy lord 
You are worthy, Lord Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. 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 Alpha and Omega, you are worthy, Lord Jesus. You are worthy, Lord, worthy, worthy, oh. You are worthy, Lord. 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 Almighty Father, oh, you are worthy, Lord Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, oh. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Are worthy, Lord. Amen. We want to thank God once again for the way God has been helping us. On this, uh, on the in this online prayer meeting, we want to appreciate God for all our pastors, all our members, all our brothers, all our sisters, including our respective family members. Let's open our mouth and begin to appreciate God. Let's give Him all the praises tonight. Let's begin to worship God. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Let's give all the praises unto God tonight. Let's thank God because of his excellent greatness in our lives, in our souls, in our spirit. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the adoration. Let's give him all the honor. Let's thank him, Father, once again because of everything he has done and for what he's going to do tonight, even in our midst. Open your mouth and begin to praise God tonight. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, I reference you, O God. Lord, Almighty God, I appreciate you once again, oh God. Thank you for the way you have always been with us, oh God. Emmanuel, God with us. We appreciate you because of your abiding presence, your presence in the day, your presence in the night, your presence in the morning, your presence in the afternoon and evening, oh God. At all times, in all seasons, in all situations and circumstances, oh God. Thank you once again for the way you have been fighting our battle for us against all the hosts of darkness, against all the powers of darkness, against all the forces of hell. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we say thank you. Almighty God, we say thank you. Righteous God, we say thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Please let's unmute ourselves. Let's unmute ourselves so that you can we can hear one another very well. Please let's unmute ourselves. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray tonight. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. The place where we read made us to understand. He said, at that time. Herod decided to lay hands on some of the church, the church members, the members of the church, and then he oppressed them, he afflicted them, he tormented them. We are going to pray, we are going to ask the Lord tonight. Every torment, anything that represents Herod in your life, in your family, you are going to pray tonight. Herod is an oppressor, it's a symbol of oppression, it's a symbol of affliction. We are going to pray and tell the Lord tonight and say, God, everything that represents the Lord, tormenting my life, tormenting my children, tormenting us in any form, in any way. We totally subdue every error in our life. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of God. Let's come to God and say, God, in the mighty name of Destroy all law by the name of Jesus. Every spirit of error, all this spirit of error, 
in life of my children, in the name of Jesus. I come against every city of error in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every city of error in the name of Jesus. 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 I forsake your dignity and your strength and your power over our life tonight in the name of Jesus. We want to pray once again tonight, brethren. I want you to look into your family. We are still praying for our family. Amen. We are praying for our family at this time. We want to pray for the husband. We want to pray for the wife. We want to pray for the children. And we want to take a... every unto God of heaven to pray for them. Whatever power that is trying to torment them day and night, anything that is representing error, to be, that want to be afflicting them, either spiritually, so that they will not be able to be oh, no. in your life. Any kind of anything that is representing error, that is oppressing them and is not and is trying to limit them. He doesn't want them to move forward. We want to pray and say God. No, no, that symbol of error, anything representing error okay. in the life of our children, let them begin to go down tonight. Open no, your no, mouth no, and no, it could be sickness, it could be yeah, one yeah, yeah, the yeah. other. Let that thing begin to go down to mind in the name of Jesus. I see God and ask him, my father God, what about this God that is representing every God in the life of the children? In the world of any life. Children, oh God, I'm trying to bring them down. Let that thing begin to go down tonight, oh God, in the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that represents, oh God, even everyone in the life of these children, oh God, we command them to go down tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray, brethren. We are calling upon the name of the Lord. It's time for us to seek the face of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Are we hearing my voice, please? Amen. Amen. All right. Now we are going to pray. Amen. We want to call upon the name of Amen. the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells us, it says, at that time, at that time, Aaron stretched forth his hand to afflict and to oppress and to torment some who belong to the church. And that is why we want to pray tonight. In our lives all together, as the head of the family, as a brother, as a sister, anything that is representing error, that want to be afflicting your life in terms of your health, in terms of your finances, in terms of your social activities, emotionally, we are going to pray that mm-hmm. thing that is representing error. We want to tell the Lord and say, God, Every error that is afflicting my life, oh God, let them begin to go down tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. That error in your family. Let that error begin to go down tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mind, my Savior, my Demon of God. Open our mouth and call upon God. Whatever thing that is representing error, 
tormenting your life, Jesus, tormenting your family, health wise, and it appears you are not having in the mighty name of and Jesus. Holy oh, Baba, financially, that error that they commit to your life, you have to pray. That's that personality that is standing in the form of error to torment your life. You want to pray tonight, let them begin to go down, open your mouth, and begin to follow. Please open your mouth and pray. It's time to pray. It's time to seek the face of the Lord. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, anything representing errors, that evil personality that has been tormenting your life, that has brought sicknesses into your family, into your home, that thing that has brought a Affliction, one thing or the other, or any kind of financial setback, you want to pray. That thing that is representing error in your life, let them begin to go down tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray to God and say, God, anything that is representing error that has been afflicting me day and night to God by the power and the authority of the name of Jesus, I bring them down in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray once again, brethren. Amen. We want to ask the Lord. Amen. We want to pray. We want to tell the Lord that God will visit everyone. We were told that Peter was kept in prison. Prison of one thing or the other. How about your life? How about your own family? How about your children? And maybe they are going through some emotional torture emotional trauma, pains within and without. You are going to pray that tonight, the mighty power of God will liberate everyone in our family. As many who have been bound, as many who have been incarcerated, and they are in prison, we want to pray that tonight, let there be liberty once again, let there be total freedom. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord and say, God, begin to liberate, oh God, as many. Every member of the family and in fact, all the pastors on this platform, all the brothers, all the sisters, those who are going through some challenges and torment here and there, we want to pray that the mighty power of God begin to liberate them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and seek the face of God and say, God, liberate as many. Oh God, that have been incarcerated, those who have been in prison. Oh, you want to ask God and say, God, set the captive free tonight. Set the captive free tonight, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many that Aaron has in prison, as many that those evil personalities have caged, maybe they have been caged in their mind. They have been caged in their thoughts. They have been caged in their spirit. Oh, they have been caged in their Begin to send the captive free tonight. Begin to send the captive free tonight, oh God. Let the power of God begin to walk upon every member of the family right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let the mighty hand of God begin to prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. It's like you are not yes. getting power. Are you hearing my voice, please? Yes, we can hear you. Are we hearing my voice? We are hearing you, sir. Okay. We want to pray. We are we are the the in our lives. Are you listening to me? We are dealing with error in our lives. Yes. Error is an evil personality. Herod is a representative of the devil. Herod is standing to represent the devil to be tormenting God's children. And I'm saying that it could be, maybe you have a personality that has been tormenting your children, tormenting your wife, tormenting your husband, tormenting you in your business, tormenting you in your workplace. We are going to pray tonight. Every error that is afflicting you, all the tormentors, all those tormentors have been tormenting your life. In fact, maybe they have even gone to the extent of imprisoning your life. Every now and then, fear. 
every now and then intimidation, every now and then assault. You are going to pray tonight in your workplace, oh God, all the tormentor, all the oppressors, let the mighty power of God begin to bring them down. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Please open but your mouth and pray for God. Before you, before you, all you those will God. pray every error, every spirit of error in my present place of business, all those, all those in my in our lives, house, in our business, in our in our in our in our spiritual in life, in our mother, 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 all the tormentors that have been afflicting in us in our finances in your business enterprise oh you want to ask god and say god of heaven oh god begin to put them to silence tonight in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and call upon the name of the lord every torment of the wicked one or the affliction of the enemy we want to cancel everything tonight in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name we are praying Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray once again tonight, brethren. We want to call upon the name of the Lord, if you can hear me. We want to ask the Lord that every prison door that the enemy has locked against the brethren, against the people of God, and it appears as if they cannot, they are being limited. One way or the other, our pastors are limited and they cannot go forth. They want to make progress in life. The enemy has imprisoned them. We want to ask God and say, go tonight. Every prison door to be open tonight. Every prison door to be open tonight. Every prison door, let the power God begin to open that prison door. Let there be liberty for everyone. Liberty to make progress in life. Liberty to begin to move into your kingdom of blessings. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Liberty to have that breakthrough you have been desiring. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, tonight, oh God. Lord, begin to open every prison door tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and call upon the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Can we hear me, please? Amen. Pastor Victor, can you please come up now? Maybe just for the few minutes we have ahead of us. Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I want to hear your response. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I... When the moderator for the online prayer meeting called me about uh, an hour ago for me to meet them in the prayer session, I just ask, what do I have to share with pastors tonight? Well, so far so good. I think I need to take where, where he's talk, talking about error. And as you know about error, he was a destiny killer. When Jesus was born, he was told a king has been born. And because of that, he thought he will be the king. No any other king that will come who will take over him. He called the wise men to find out such this, this time where the child has been born and come and give me what back. And when those wise men where the angel of God met them and told them, we talk back not to Aaron, for he seek to kill the child. When he said, he now commands that you slaughter every children under two years old. So much of the key innocent children at that time. Aaron was a destiny killer. He wanted to kill and terminate the destiny of Jesus for the faith. There are many people that Aaron have killed. They are alive. They are pastors Aaron have killed. 
Aaron killed their prayer life. There are many pastors Aaron have killed their vision. There are many pastors Aaron have killed their Bible reading, their commitment to God. There are many pastors who carry portfolio, but the real anointing is not in their life. Aaron have emptied the anointing of God out of their life. He was a destiny killer. He wanted to kill the destiny of Jesus, but he failed. And when you talk about error, you go about deep study of, of the Bible, you discover that man, he was full of jealousy. What makes him to what make him to terminate the ministry of Jesus is because of jealousy. And I want to tell you that Aaron have jealousy in his heart. David have key a thousand. 10,000, so key 8,000 because of that envy and jealousy. The reality of error was the spirit of error was transferred to Saul. What did I have? He had the kingdom. He was looking for David to kill David. Hey, these are destiny killer. They don't want you to progress spiritually. They don't want you to progress socially. They don't want you to progress in every area of the, of the work of God. And they are full of jealousy. Jealousy in their hearts. And that is the ministry of Aaron. He came to seek to, to, to kill and to destroy. He was a destiny killer. My men and brethren and pastors in the house, you need to fortify your admonition before the spiritual Aaron come to empty your destiny. Before the spiritual error come to empty your anointing, before the spiritual error come to take, 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 take the precious thing out of your life and make you to become a child. That is why you must be aggressive of the negative influence of error in your ministry, in your life as a pastor. You have to throw it down. Uh, you will not allow it to penetrate. You know. Before we pray, let me tell you something. If you're a pastor, you're on top, they will speak against you. They will talk about you. Any man on top, they always talk about you. Spiritually, socially, academically, in, in, in the area of politics, they will always talk about you if you're on top. The reason why they are not talking about you is because you are not on top. The moment you are on top, over the all eyes on you, they must talk about you. People must criticize you. People must do one thing or the other to throw you down, to, to, to make sure that you have been eradicated. But you will not be eradicated in Jesus' name. So the ministry Amen. of error, the ministry of error is a is, is a threefold ministry. You come to see, you come to key, you come to destroy. And when the uh, pastor chef was thinking about Aaron and all that, I was just, I was just, I, 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 I didn't prepare for this. He said, so he told me about the sufficiency of God. But I was still speaking about Aaron. I began to have, I began to administration when he was talking. And that is why you must be a last spiritually pastors. The days we are is the days of a lot of revival of satanic and demonic activities spreading everywhere. And you must wake up and pray. If Aaron has taken your prayer power, you must pray to recover them back. If Aaron, there are some pastors that cannot pray 15 minutes at a stretch on their own. There are some pastors that cannot pray for 10 minutes on their own in their closet. There are some pastors that cannot pray for 30 minutes on their own, but they can talk talk about administration and order you will see them getting involved but for them to pray for 10 minutes they will be yelling pastors they will be sleeping on their knees Aaron have taken such people prayer power Aaron have taken such people prayer anointing Aaron have emptied them out Noah chapter 2 the Bible says for the emptiers have emptied them out I pray for you Wherever the emptiers, wherever the emptiers have emptied your vessel, wherever emptiers have emptied the light of God in your life, the power of God in your life, you will recover them. Amen. I said you will recover them. 
Amen. As over everything, the enemy has taken away from your life, power and anointing will flow in your system. And when I, I, whatever I go Aaron have shot down. You know this prayer online, and I also say this, Aaron is fighting pastors this prayer online. Aaron is attacking pastors in this prayer online. Aaron is trying to close down the source of power in this prayer online. But they will not succeed. Don't they will not succeed. They will try. Even the remnant for people as he's standing, holy for, they will always look for things to, to eat against and things and things to throw down. But at the soldier of Jesus, committed. And you know the purpose why you have been assigned, why you have been called by God Almighty. You will finish your course very strong. We are going to pray. Amen. We are going to ask the Lord every demon of entias, every spiritual error, whatever they have emptied out of my ministry, whatever they have emptied out of my prayer life, oh God, recover them for me. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever. Father, Restore them by prayer and call upon the Lord. Prayer and call upon the Lord. The spirit right, power right, upon your life, right, the spirit right, right, right. upon your life, right, and right, the anointing right, right. that will make you walk and power that will be over. Every time you will be restored by. In the name of Jesus. See, Lord. Pray that you destroy every power of error in my life, oh Lord. Lord. In the name Let's of Jesus, everything that Let's is error is starting against in this prayer network. All that error is starting. But I never have prayed all the way to take up a standard against it and destroy the power of error in my life. As we are not empty, you are anointing. As we are not empty, you are anointing. And the power of prayer in your life. Oh, I will. I will be a good offer. I will. I will be with anointing. I will recover back your strength of error. Recover back your authority from error. Recover back your fire from error. In the name of Jesus, oh, the wise man, the angel of the wise man, returned not to error for his seek to keep the child. He seek, he was, he was, he was a dragon to demonic, a dragon that, a dragon that massacred. Why can't you pray? Oh, I come before your throne. I pray, oh Lord, I destroy everything that has attachment to error in my life, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Jesus name. We pray. Amen. You know, the moment you began to get up on top, listen to me, sir. Listen to me, ma. They will always find something to criticize about your ministry. The reason why they are not criticizing your ministry is that you are not yet on top. The moment you climb that top ladder, they will always criticize your ministry. You know, you see in, in a in a tree, a a fruit, a mango, a mango fruit. When that fruit, when that mango is not ripe, nobody will pluck it. But the moment that mango is ripe, every eyes will be on that mango to pluck that mango. That's what I'm saying. The moment you began to get on top. 
the anointing of God is working in your life, then we want to trust on at you to block that mango down. You will be the target, the number one target of the devil. But don't, but don't worry, because you have been noticed. Because the anointing fall upon your life. Because the power is upon your life. That is why they are trying to at you on top. They are trying to kill your ministry, kill your prayer life, kill your commitment. You will prevail in Jesus' name. I said we are going to prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray one more prayer before I call on the next minister to take over. Every arrow shot against my prayer life. Every damage the enemy has got damage on my prayer order. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, recover me back. Open your mouth and pray. Every arrow shot against my prayer order. Every arrow shot the my prayer order. Every arrow shot let those arrows be shattered into pieces tonight in Jesus' name. Every arrow that the wicked of God has command everything to be shattered into pieces. The arrows of the setbacks, all the arrows that be all the arrows of failure, all the arrows of backwardness, all the arrows of sorrow, will go by the power of your spirit to God. I command everything to be dismantled by the fire. The Holy Ghost, able to night in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Men and brethren and fellow pastors, I want to encourage you that you should fortify your admonition in your sacred chamber. Hmm. Smile. The sheep will be scattered. It hmm. is in the head of the devil to always go after the shepherd. To always go after the, sh the shepherd. When you able to get the shepherd, the sheep will be scattered. When you get the pastor, what the apple, all the followers will be scattered. So I want to encourage you. <coughs> Don't be discouraged. When you see <coughs> people coming to attack you, the Lord will strengthen you. I call on Pastor Shep. <coughs> okay. Pastor Matthew, please can you take over, sir? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, there's something that is uh give me very uh a good assurance. Uh Herod, Pharaoh. Every one of them, they perished at Amen. the long Amen. Uh, the Pharaoh fought the battle. And then God just told Moses and then the Israelites that you see this war, see this Pharaoh and his soldiers, you will never see them again. Ooh. And then we have been following the Bible. We are the children of the Bible. We totally believe in the Bible. People uh, know us as a Bible career. Uh, know anybody that know us, they know that uh, the only thing they can identify, especially with the leaders that I can see online today, is the Bible. That Bible has never died. Mm. It's still the to, today. I've read about Heard about how many people have heard, cried that they shouldn't, we shouldn't have Bible again, but still, the word of the Lord still in existing and still spreading. I initially, I always thinking that the other religion in the in numbers, they are more than uh, Christianity, but later I Google, I saw that Christianity is more than the other religion. That's what the, all the activities, that's what all the force. What does that what is that one proof to us that we are still dominion? We see our ability. We can still do it. We can still recover it. And that one bring that song to me. Mule Muba Mutungba Akbada. 
Muli muba mutungba abada. Muli muba mutungba abada. Umbugu tota gbala yemi. I want you to sing. Muli muba mutungba at that point, I want you to look at yourself. I want to imagine uh, your dream when you are small, when you are youth, uh, when you even become an adult. All what you have dreamed in your life, that father, I wish I'd be like this. Many of us, we didn't have dream because of the family we have, we come from. We didn't know that, okay, we can ride car. We didn't know that one can ride, ride aeroplane. We didn't know that one can have a, a personal helicopter. We just don't believe that, oh, life is li- like that. But along the line, when we become an adult, we started thinking, let's say I come from this family. Uh, I will have done this. I will have done this. Let's say I'm able to pass this exam. I will have become this. I will have become this. Let's say I've done this. I will have done this. I will have done this. But my God has never changed. And the, the Bible let me know it's a God of impossibility. You now call upon the name of the Lord. You are no more than eight. You are no more than nine. You are no more than ten. And the Bible say is a God of impossibility. That's that's me. There's nothing that God cannot do. Call upon the name of the Lord. That whatsoever Father that is biting me, biting me, biting my life. Biting me, biting my thoughts. Biting me, biting my presence. Biting me, biting my future. And I think there's nothing, ah, that it can never be done. But you have let me know that all your power, all your power, that's why the Pharaoh has power. Pharaoh perish with his power. All those battles, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, let them perish today in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Re-establish your generation. Re-establish your destiny. Re-establish everything concerning concerning your future. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. My dear brother, call upon the name of the Lord. My dear sister, call upon the name of the Lord. That Lord is still existing. That God is still available. Is the one that conquer the battle for Israelites. He has never changed. He will not change. And it will not say it will not say because it, it becomes your own tongue. Then his power has been eliminated. That he has no more power. I want you to open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. I want you to buy some get your right here. Call Lara. Call upon the name of the Lord, oh, the Almighty Father. At this point, at this joint, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. All battle that have been following me from the beginning of my life till when I'm young, till now that I'm adult, and still they are still there. Where I supposed to be is not where I am. What I'm supposed to be doing is not what I'm doing. The position I'm supposed to find myself is not that position I am. And I'm afraid, oh Lord, will I die without fulfilling destiny? Call upon the name of the Lord, oh the Almighty Father. I pray by the power in the blood, Lord Jesus Christ, all the stumbling block, all the hindrances in my life, in the life of my family. In my life, in the life of my wife. In my life, in the life of my children. In my life, in the life of everyone. In the life of my generation. That's causing the problems in my life. That I couldn't move forward. All what I'm saying is the past story. All what I'm saying that is going to be better. 
All what I'm saying that maybe one day things are going to change. All what I'm saying that that is is not possible. All what I'm saying is that well, maybe until I see an effort, that's why the problem can be solved. Call upon the name of the Lord. It's only one thing I'm asking. I'm asking for. Let me receive mercy. Open your mouth. Call upon the name of the Lord. I can't see you praying. I saw many of us we moved our phone. I see many of us that we can't even pray. I see many of us that the present situation we find ourselves, we feel satisfied. And after this prayer, we are going to be grumbling. After this prayer, we are going to open our mouth. After this prayer, we will we, we not remember one thing or the other. But this is the time we need to cry unto my Almighty God. This is my time to say, Almighty God, this is my feeling, O oh Lord. This is my pain, O oh Lord. This is what I'm going to do, O oh Lord. Why can't you, Almighty Father, let my life be different? Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. All the fire of my life, all the failure of my economic situation, all the failure of my marital situation, all the failure of my financial situation, all the failure of my, of my, of, of, of my children, all the failure of my son, all the fear of all my daughter. God has come upon your name by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Let it perish today in the name of Jesus Christ. And do Lord Almighty Father, I call upon your name. Let me see the sign. Let me see the sign. Let me see the sign. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our time has gone past. So shall we before they take over, please. Just stand up for us. Our Father, we thank you this night. Thank you so much for all that you have done for us, oh God. We appreciate you. Father, we are praying that tonight as you have decreed and as you have prayed, mm. every personality representing error that have been tormenting our life, tormenting our family, tormenting us, and even you know, making things so difficult in our spiritual life. Lord, I'm asking, oh God, those errors tonight, they shall go down tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, every activities, all the harassment, all the intimidation of error, oh God, in our homes, in the life of our children, in the life of our wives and husbands, oh God, let all the activities and the powers of error representing the devil and all his allied forces will bring them down tonight and never to rise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh God, we decree and declare that this week, oh God, let it be a week of favor and joy and gladness for every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I pray I pass all your minutes online so that in the night you can let us continue to follow the prayer. And I know by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, this year, Things are going to be different for everyone first before the December in the name of Jesus Christ. New I'm way sorry. to be. Also, your me back online now. Yeah, please help me to tell him. We can tell him, please. Okay. New way is going to open. A new thing is going to be done. And the air by the power that all the garments of secret, uh, uh, secret uh, God is going to remove in Jesus' name. Let's share the yeah. together before they take over. The grace the of our Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, and, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely, God's goodness and mercy. Surely, for the days of our life, and we shall dwell the heart of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Good night, sir. Good night. Thank you, Pastor. We couldn't see. I will call you. Mm. You could do it. Huh? Okay.